world. I'm Maya Sundermeyer, and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my vlog series. So far, I have been able to share my own experiences on what it's like for me to live with Asperger's syndrome. A second thing that I will do is give my two cents on what's going on with autism in the media. A third area entails providing tips and advice for those of you that are on the spectrum. I will also reach out to your friends, family members, peers, mentors, educators, employers, and anybody that is inside the autism community. And finally, I will cover topics and things that I'm passionate about. But before I dive into tonight's topic, what I would like to do is two things. So first and foremost, I am rotating my announcements. Number one, please be sure to check out my written blogs on WordPress.com. And these are scholarly and practical application type blogs that uh, are autism related. And you can find those under hello world 240.wordpress.com. That's hello world 240.wordpress.com. And I'd also like to recommend that you check out uh, uh, this video called Why People with Asperger Syndrome Are Addicted to Video Games. And this is by Danny Rady of uh, the Asperger Experts. And though I am not addicted to video games, I myself am interested in this video. And I thought that y'all could relate to this. Uh, I also would like to let you guys know that I am going to be doing uh, tips and advice for those of you on the spectrum as well as your families as well. And I recently had done a uh, presentation up in Chattanooga, Tennessee on the 20th or the 21st of uh, April 2017. And I had created a list of uh, 15 different steps that uh, an individual and their families can take in order to help, the, help this person become independent. And I wanted to uh, give you a demo of uh, the areas that I think need to be worked on. And you can also check out two blogs that I wrote on WordPress last week and they are published. In fact, I will put them in the description below. So. Number one, it's very important that you teach your child responsibilities and that you teach them that uh, they have a schedule that they need to stick to on a structured basis. So one of the things that you can do is create a special calendar and you have uh, your child with autism versus your siblings doing different types of chores uh, each month. For instance, let's say that you have your child with autism taking the trash out uh, into the garage or bringing it up to the end of the driveway for the garbage man to collect. Or if you live in a condo or apartment complex, uh, they take the trash uh, on a nightly basis uh, to the garbage chute or the dump while you have other family members cleaning the kitchen and the bathroom or the hard floors. Uh, like They mop and they sweep. Uh, a second thing that I would suggest is that uh, you teach them to use more advanced appliances like the vacuum cleaner and you mow the lawn and you do not deny them the right to mow that lawn because some of them might be living in rental houses very much like I did and they might run into roommates uh, that expect you to mow the lawn. So it's very important to teach them that. Uh, I would also suggest that you give them allowances for doing the chores and you do not um, make and break your promises on that because here's why in a second. A third thing that uh, you could probably do is teach them how to cook and you have them uh, work with you in the kitchen when they're very young, like they um, help with things like cutting up fruit or taking uh, ingredients out of uh, the cupboards. And at a certain point you teach them how to read. Once they can read, you teach them how to use cookbooks and a good book that I uh, highly recommend is Just Five Things which is a very very simple cookbook where you use five ingredients and you can make some really cool gourmet things from that alone and and then you uh, share your uh, menu ideas with your parents and then the parents and the other family members agree I like that I don't like that I'm allergic to that can you uh, please modify that with something else whatever and then getting back to the groceries let's say that you go through your list and you go through the cupboards and the fridge to see which ingredients that you have and you teach that child to shop with you and they take that allowance and they buy things based on the list what they need in the recipes 
and then they uh, spend a night or maybe once a week or maybe once a month cooking a recipe for the rest of the family. So those are some ways that one can become independent. Other things that you can do is uh, talk to your child about people that can take advantage of you, teach them how to say no, role play with them, tell them that uh, there are people that will try to take your money and they'll tell you that uh, they, uh, they're short on their rent, but really they need that money to buy drugs. Or another way to uh, approach that is just learn how to say no. Uh, and another uh, big one would be to uh, deal with the police because uh, there are uh, hu uh, huge stories of uh, people on the spectrum that have had run-ons run with the police and they have not been very nice. So those are some things that you can do. Uh, yes, I know that there are people on the spectrum that are going to struggle with uh, sensory issues, but there are accommodations that you can do in order to prepare to become independent, like just lots of practicing so that they don't feel afraid. And other things too is make sure you pick the right roommates, like have uh, your child, uh, whether they are, they are adolescent, young adult, or whether they're in their 50s, to practice um, sitting down and meeting with the roommates that they found in the papers. And they sit down with them and uh, interview them what are they looking for and find out whether or not this roommate is going to be a good fit and make sure that you educate them about autism but at the same time you let the roommates know that you're not a lesser of a person and that you're not a doormat and maybe another one is teaching yourself how to be assertive because uh, there can be roommates out there and they can be really nasty so anyway I'm out of time what I would like you to do is uh, please be sure to subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you like what I'm doing. Also be sure to note that I do blogs every Monday and I post them on Monday. Uh, yeah, If you like what I'm doing, again, give me a thumbs up and share this with your support groups and check me out on social media. Until next time, I'm Maya Sundermeyer.